Hello and welcome to my shop today. Uh, first of all, as you can see, I'm wearing an apron. And uh, this is the uh, Cat's Moses apron. I bought one of these because um, I've been going back and forth in the shop and uh, I'm lucky enough to have a big shop. But uh, there's also a drawback when you need stuff and you don't have it on you or close by, you need to go get it. Talking about you know basic stuff like tape measures, things like this, pencils, sharpie, a um, bunch of other stuff. There's a nice bucket here for a square, which is nice. I haven't used it yet, but nice. Um, I'm trying to get the, the hang of this thing. And uh, so far, I like it. It's it's nice uh, to have stuff in your pockets and close by. Uh, got another knife here. I still have plenty of space in in all of those pockets, which is nice. Uh, really, really like it. Um, the only drawback is uh, because I'm in South Georgia, I sweat over here in the front, and it, it's been pretty warm lately. Um, but I still like it. I don't get all nasty and everything. So I like that. So check it out. Got Smoothie's apron. Put the link in the description or somewhere. So you can uh, see it for yourself. Um, I'm going to start using this thing and see if I like it or not. And I'll let you know. So far so good though. Today we're going to do um, a quick one, that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. So when I moved to France, I mean sorry, to the US from France, I left a bunch of stuff in, in France and one thing I didn't have here is uh, a set of steak knives. I wanted to buy uh, some a French brand called La Guillole and uh, bring them over but uh, you know every time I go to France for work and come back I don't have a care I mean uh, I don't check in my luggage and uh, you cannot take knives like this in the plane so I said um, well if I have the opportunity I'll, I'll just uh, give me a set and uh, make them that's what I did I bought this from um, Woodcraft, I believe it is, and this is a Sarge Knives Custom 6-Piece Tech Knife Kit, reference number SK-SK6PCKIT, there are six of them, so we ju just give you the, the knives without the handle, and then you can make whatever, whatever you want with it. Um, they give you the uh, the rivets also included. So I bought two sets of these uh, 12 knives, which uh, we're gonna do together. For this, I have scraps of uh, sorry, mahogany from a previous build, um, and this is the perfect thing to use small pieces like this. So that's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned to make knives. What I'm going to start doing is uh, reduce the thickness down of my stock to a quarter inch thick. For this I'm using the drum sander, but obviously you can use whatever other tools you, you have available uh, to get the stock to a quarter inch thickness. I'm using scrap wood from another project and I already had small pieces. So there's no need to cut, resew, or anything like this in my case. but. Uh, in your case, do whatever you need to get stock down to a quarter inch thickness evenly. It's going to be the starting point of the, the knife handle build. Quarter inch thick. You can also, also do that with a hand plane or oh, a planer with a planer slate. But it's uh, very small. But I have the chance to have this thing, and uh, it's only the second time or third time I use it, so I just wanted to see it works great. I love it. 
Now let's cut the stock to rough lengths. I'm trying to save some material here to see if I can put four knives into one plank, but uh, I don't think I'll get to that point. So now we're gonna attach the two together here with double sided tape or blue tape all the way up. I'm just taping all the pieces at once to make it faster and then I'll cut all the pieces at once too before gluing up two pieces at a time Let's square this up now so we can have a reference space. Let's now drill the holes for the pins. Right now I'm using a one height of an inch drill bit, but we'll see later when it's not the right one, it's a bit too tight. So I'm gonna switch to a four mil instead of the wood cracking, which we'll see in a minute. Let's now shape roughly the contour of the handle with a bandsaw. You can do that by hand too, but it's uh, a lot longer. Just be careful of your fingers. So let's disassemble the two sides so by removing the blue tape. And then let's use five minute epoxy to glue the two places to the handles, I mean to the blades. And I forgot to record the glue up like a dummy, so please excuse me, but you know, it's just putting some epo epoxy on both sides of the blade. The hardest part is actually to put the pins in, and for this I use the back of my vise to hammer the pins down. You'll see the vise on my right shoulder in a second. Well, it's been an hour, Plus, and have one good one, two good ones. This one is split, and this one is split in half. Let me show you. So these two are messed up. So we're gonna fix that. We'll try to fix that. And to do that, what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to put sawdust in there and CA glue to fill the gap and we'll see what it does. So I keep some mahogany sawdust from my previous project and that's what I'm going to put. I'm going to put some in there, in the crack. So I'm going to use some blue tape to cover the side here so it doesn't go too much everywhere. Already a lot, and we're gonna put sawdust in here. Then I'm gonna put some sea glue thin in the hole. and keep building up. And some accelerator. And we'll do it again until it's totally flush. That looks pretty bad right now, but uh, we'll fix it with sanding. Okay, and we'll see. Now next step is uh, sanding to the shape we want. So 
Well, let's do that. And now we can check the other side, and for this one I use the oscillating belt sander with a smaller diameter. And then the final sanding at the bench using the vise. So I use sandpaper from 120 grit. Go up to 150. And go up to 220. So let's clean these with denatured alcohol. Uh, so we're good to go for the finish. Let's put some, some of this. This is I idiot proof, so it's proof for me. I'm kind of getting a hard time here. Idiot proof. This is really proof. I can tell you that. All right. So let's. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks gorgeous. As you can see, it looks great. I love mahogany. Which is nice when you do this is you can see all the imperfections so you know what, what you're going to go back and sand. This one looks very good. I'm going to use what I have on hand. This is by the way my favorite finish. It is Osmo Top Oil High Solid. It is uh, number 3045 Clear Satin. I love this thing and it's uh, food safe. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use. This thing is also really proof, but it's easier. <laughs> Here we go. I just shake this thing just a minute ago. I'm gonna put some, we're gonna put at least two coats. So one now and a couple other ones in the next couple of days. Well, you know what? This one's dead. Coming. Almost dead. So let's see what it does here on this thing. Looks amazing, looks really good. I like this. Again, I love mahogany. Look at this. You look amazing. Oh, please to me. You know what? I'll go in and put some finish on the other ones. And then I need to do some touch up. Gonna show me exactly where to do a touch up. It's very forgiving and you can sand and just refinish wherever you, you have a problem. 
uh, it doesn't it, it doesn't do like other types of finish where if you screw up you need to sand the entire thing and start all over again this one is not and I love I love that and you can see here for instance I got a, I got a spot here I'm gonna have to sand again but that looks great so I'm gonna put more coats on this and I'll catch you when everything's done So here you have it, everything's done. And this one actually turned out to be my favorite, you know, the screwed up one I said at the beginning, we fixed together. So there is, uh, as you just saw, close up, a very big crack in the middle. And I think it looks pretty cool. And you only saw four, obviously they come in a pack of six, so I got two more. And uh, I also have uh, another set I'm doing and this is actually this which is done with hard maple and these are in the finish stage uh, so this, this is another set of knives that I'm working on and so I hope you liked it thank you for tuning in if you like this kind of stuff uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so we can keep going uh, it's free for you and uh, it makes me feel good so thank you again for tuning in and I'll catch you later